In this video, we will apply the loads and boundary conditions on our chassis model to simulate two different cases. Firstly, looking at the influence of aerodynamic loads during cornering, and then a frontal impact test. To add a new analysis system, click on the New Analysis tab, select the Static Structural option. Rename the new system as as Aero plus Cornering Test. To simulate this condition, we will apply a 2G acceleration in the positive X direction and standard Earth gravity in the negative Y direction. The uprights will be fixed to restrict any translational or rotational motion. Right-click onto the arrow plus cornering tab and select acceleration. Change the define by tab to components and add 2G acceleration in the X component. From the same tab add standard earth gravity acting in the negative y direction. To fix the uprights, we can drag and drop the fixed supports from the cornering analysis to the new system. This automatically applies the same boundary condition on the uprights as defined before. We can see the four fixed supports, acceleration and earth gravity have been added and ready to be solved. Insert solutions for the total deformation and beam tool in the model. Solve the system. Once the solver completes its iterations check the solutions by clicking onto the total deformation button. During animation, the solver automatically scales up the results for easier visualization. By clicking on the auto scale and changing it to true scale the actual displacements can be visualized. Similarly, open the beam tool to visualize the stress contours in the model. Add a new static structural system to the model and rename it as Frontal Impact Test. To simulate the Frontal Impact Test, we will apply a force of 30,000 Newton on the front bulkhead. While, the four nodes at the rear structure will be simply supported corresponding to the suspension mounting points. Right click on the Frontal Impact Test, and insert a force. Click on the node selection filter and select the four nodes on the front bulkhead of the frame. Then click apply. Change the define by tab from vector to components and add a negative 30,000 newton force in the Z component. To restrict the translational motion of the rear bulkhead, open the torsion test system and drag the simply supported condition on the current system. Insert solutions for the total deformation and beam tool in the model. Solve the system. Once solver completes its iterations check the solutions by clicking onto the total deformation button. In the beam tools, we can see that the front members of the chassis do not experience much stress. This is due to the location of the applied load, namely the front bulkhead nodes. The force appears to be transmitted through the line of force application point, through to the back of the frame. Therefore, location of the highest stress is at the rear structure. Note that this is a static structural analysis and hence a simplification of an actual frontal impact load. The results from this analysis will not be a realistic representation of what would occur in a real-life crash case. To accurately simulate this, it would be necessary to perform a dynamic analysis.